Alrighty, so the new Tower of Trials floors have just come out, and we are going to be looking over the Hellbroom stage today, which is the floor 18. Uh, and there is quite an interesting gimmick on this one. Uh, obviously, you can see that my team is a little kind of weird. Um, Basically, the gimmick here is that you want to have characters who can decrease skill ranks, and you can't use characters that decrease skill ranks um, like at the end of the enemy turn or anything like that. It has to be um, this one right here, rank decrease. Uh, all of these characters will somewhat work. The only stipulation to that is um, the enemy. Once you get full ultimate gauge on characters, uh, the enemy will actually put a a gray debuff on you so you can't cleanse it uh, that will restrict your ultimate moves for three turns which is quite a long time considering that the enemies actually deal quite a lot of damage so you don't want to choose someone like Matrona for example who decreases skill ranks on her ultimate because it's gonna take you forever to get it and you're probably not gonna last that long so using uh, these two characters specifically um, the Liz is not, or the Ellie Hawk technically, uh, is not ideal in my in my opinion, um, but she's okay. I actually had her powered up quite a bit from when I was using her with the Angel teams and stuff like that. So she's, I know that a lot of you might not have her because she was like a summer unit. I can't remember exactly. I think it was her and uh, the Blue Merlin that came out together. So if you do have her, she's going to be pretty decent for this stage. Uh, but the other character that I'm using is Green Elaine, uh, who is not even level 90 and it's just because um, her, I think her regular, no, her AOE card, I think, um, no, is it, hello? Oh, it is the, uh, okay, her regular just single target attack card decreases skill ranks. I think I clicked on the wrong one at the very beginning. Um, so yeah, the whole gimmick is once you reduce, um, or once you derank an enemy's cards, the character is going to get a stat boost, and I think it will continue to stack. Um, I tried it once just to see if I could make sure that the gimmick was working, um, and I was able to get like 1.7 million HP on this Liz Hawk, which is pretty interesting. Like that's really crazy. Like there was no chance of her dying. I probably could have just kept going if I really wanted to, but I think everybody else on my team ended up dying because uh, they didn't really have the gimmick going for them. Uh, you definitely do not have to use King for uh, just, just throwing that out there. The only reason I'm using King is because he puts on a shield that is actually pretty good and um, will help me in the long run just to survive a little bit. Um, obviously, if you're using three characters that decrease skill ranks in general, you shouldn't have too many issues, I wouldn't think, but uh, you never know. So they have one uh, silver card here and one silver card here. Uh, I think what I need to do is if I derank with a lane and then use the AOE one to get rid of Hellbrums uh, or to derank Hellbrums, I should be in a pretty decent spot to where both of them will get a stat boost. We'll check them in just a moment to make sure that they did. So let's see here. All right. So we've already taken a little bit of damage from Hellbrum's Poison. Uh, I guess ideally, if you really want to, you could potentially put somebody who could cleanse in the middle or just heal maybe, just like a, good, a decent healer, um, could help a bit because they do end up dealing a really good amount of damage. Like it's kind of, <laughs> kind of nuts. Um, but if we look at the units that we did, so yeah, we're already getting a ton of increased stats from these two characters, both. Yeah, both of these characters because they were able to de-rank cards so if I I don't have another D rank card on um, Elaine this turn so I think we're gonna throw this up we're gonna go ahead and do that and then this should actually remove ultimate gauge from that character or from the enemy who's about to try to ultimate so this will D rank the card on the left character I don't know if uh, Helbrum had a level 2 card or not but you can see Elaine's doing 300k at level 80 which is kind of nuts so we got another D rank card here. We are not, we don't have a D rank card for Liz at the moment, um, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. It should be okay. I think I'm gonna end up using a couple of cards here. Uh, all of these ultimates are very scary actually. Let's go ahead and I think what I'm gonna do is throw up this into this and then derank that one card so that way Elaine continues to gain a stat boost. We'll just try to get a little bit of damage off here with this extra card from King and hopefully put up a decent shield to protect us a little bit. But if they target King, I'm pretty sure uh, he might end up dying because obviously he's not getting any stat boosts. So yeah, you can see I now have to worry about uh, the three turn 
um, ultimate remo or ultimate restriction on King here, which, I mean, it would be nice to get that ultimate off, but these two characters are the ones getting the stat boost, so it's not going to do, like, super crazy uh, regardless. I almost wish they could just remove his ultimate gauge, so that way I'm freeing up a spot. He's going to end up dying at some point here, so let's go ahead and throw up a shield in just in case we can get away with it. Um, and I think... I'm just going to use this card right here just to get off a little bit more damage with Elaine because she's got, you know, the stat boosts. Boom, boom. 200k. Not bad. Obviously, if I was to invest more into her and max her out, uh, this will be going a little bit smoother, but it's fine. No big deal. We draw her ultimate. We finally got another Liz D rank, which is good. All right. King goes down. That's fine. That should help us actually draw some more cards for these two characters specifically. Um, but I mean, obviously at this point, it's just going to be a, a, a race to see how long it's going to take me to do this, I guess, uh, because of the gimmick being weird. Um, there are teams out there that do brute force this, which you can definitely do if you really want to. Um, I know the, the teams that I saw people doing it with were, I think it was King and Margaret and Gother, I think. And you just kind of just level up, use Margaret's, you know, buff card to reduce damage taken you can also use it to cleanse the uh the poison off and you just want to try to get off as much damage as possible uh and brute force your way through this which is possible i guess but this is the actual gimmick and how it works so i guess pick your poison if you don't have some of these characters leveled up like you know i, I would assume most people don't um then you know you'll have to sort of figure it out um you know a different way maybe brute forcing would work better for you if you have those characters so uh yeah quite an interesting stage not my favorite because you know i have to invest into characters that i don't really use but um what are you gonna do so yeah all right we can finally use elaine's ultimate i kind of uh okay we can actually derank a card here as well i want to see how much stat she has She's at 155,000. She's at 2.3 mil HP. So we'll derank here. Uh, it should increase our stats a little bit more. 356k on that. And then the ultimate kills, maybe? Yeah, 751k. Not bad at all. So that is the gimmick. Hopefully it's not too troublesome. I know that I had to power up this Elaine a little bit because she hadn't, she didn't have basically any Super Awakening stars on her. Um, but yeah, you can see I didn't even have to power her up all the way for it to work. I probably could have just left her where she was at, if I'm being completely honest. It just would have took them a little bit longer. Um, and, you know, RNG a little bit with, you know, actually drawing those, uh, you know, skilled D-ranking cards. But uh, that is the whole gimmick. Hopefully that was good and you understood it and it works for you. Um, if you find anything else or you have a team that you could probably do this with instead of the ones that I used, feel free to you know comment down below so that way you can help somebody else out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in the next one.